be, I'm going to show you how to complete the text warp assignment, right? It's going to go, show up right here on the right, but if it's not, then you're going to go into the instruction materials. It was an assignment that we had on a Monday, so you're going to, we're going to go into the Mondays folder right here. We're not going to go into the regular ones. We're going to click where it says Monday, and we're going to click where it says February 22nd. That was the day that we uh, had that assignment. Okay, so I'm going to click where it says text warp, right? And I have some instructions in here uh, on how to complete this assignment, right? Um, we're going to go into PhotoP and we're going to open this attachment into PhotoP. We only need this one, okay? And at the bottom here, you could uh, see the example of what I have, what it's supposed to look like. Uh, it should, uh, we should have a, applied an effect to each of these texts, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the top and I'm going to click where the PhotoP link is, right? So I'm going to click on it and it should open that PhotoP website, okay? So I'm going to go back into Schoology and I'm going to open the worksheet that we have right here. I'm going to click and drag up to PhotoP and I'm going to let go in this space right here. I'm going to go, right, and there it is, right? So we're going to type in um, our name three times. You guys can type in uh, your first name, a middle name, a last name, a second last name, right, if you guys have it. Um, we're going to type them in. You can do uh, your last name three times, your first name three times, whatever combination you guys prefer, right? So for this assignment, we're only going to need one tool. We're going to go into the type tool, All right? So uh, right here in the toolbox, you're going to go to where there's a tool that um, the letter T is, right? Where it looks like a letter T. Well, it is a, le it, it is a letter T, so we're just going to click on it, All right? Um, we're going to click on the type tool, and then we're going to... Uh, Increase the size of our text before we start typing. It, it's sort of a shortcut and saves us a little bit of time, right? So before um, we start typing, we could just make it um, into the, big, the biggest text size that we can have right here. So right now, right here, um, the max is 150. So you're going to click and you're going to increase the size of your uh, text with this scale, or you can simply just type in 150, right? So once we have our 150, I'm going to click right here um, in this space. So we have our type tool selected and then we have the size at 150. I'm going to click right here, right? Um, as soon as you click, uh, it should load your fonts, right? And it does not blink. It doesn't blink. It just stays like this, right? But you can go ahead and start typing. I'm going to type in my last name, right? There it is. And once you finish uh, typing your your first name, your last name, whatever it is, you're going to go up here to where it says warp, right? So in the options bar, uh, your text um, tool should still be selected. You're going to click right here where it says warp. So I'm going to click, I'm going to go ahead and click, right? And a new box should pop out, okay? You're going to uh, select the style according to the worksheet. So right here it says arc style. You're going to click where it says right here where it says none, and you're going to type uh, click on the one that says arc because that's the style that we need. Okay. Uh, the second one is the bold style. It's right here. This uh, the second option, and then the third option we have a show, shell lower and shell upper. For the third option, you will have a choice between these two. Okay, it's up to you. So for the first one, um, it's the arc style. So I'm gonna click where it says arc, right? And it should apply the uh, effect um, as soon as you uh, select it, right? You can change the numbers right? Um, see how it affects the text, right? Move the numbers back and forth. Um, you guys can move them back and forth however you guys want to, um, but you can also leave it the way it is, right? So usually for all of the effects, it's 50, 0, and 0, um, and you can just press OK, right? So once you press OK, um, you should be able to go into the Move tool, right? So it's this one right here. I'm going to click on it, um, and you can move your text if you want to. You don't have to, um, but you do need to go into the move tool in order for you to move on to the next uh, style, right? Um, so now that we're out of this text, we're going to create another one, right? So we're going to go back to the type tool. I'm going to click on the T, right? Um, my size is already at 150. It stays that way. Once you guys change a setting uh, or an option, um, it stays that way until you change it again, okay? So it stays at 150. I'm just going to click right here. And I'm going to type in my last name again, right? Once I finish typing, I'm going to go back into this warp box. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click where it says style, right? 
until this um, window of uh, this column comes out and I'm going to click on bulge. All right, so I'm going to click on it. You can change the numbers if you want to, but if you want to keep it 50, 0, 0, just the way it is, then you can just press OK. All right, and now you're done with the second option. I'm going to click on the arrow tool, right? And then you're done with the second option, the second style. All right, so we're going to go into the third option. I'm going to go into the text tool again, right? I'm going to click because it's already at the 150 size. I'm going to type in my last name again. And I'm going to go into the warp and change it to that last style. So I'm going to click where it says none. And I'm going to be able to choose between uh, shell lower and shell upper. So I'm going to click on shell upper. Um, you can change the numbers as well for this one, right? And if not, you can just press OK. So I'm going to press OK. And then once you're done with that last third option, you're done. OK? So you can see the different effects that you're, uh, that there are available in Photopea, right? We can apply different types of effects to our text. You're going to go to uh, File, Export As, and then you're going to click on JPEG. So I'm going to click, right? Um, it's zoomed out, uh, zoomed in a little bit. You can zoom out if you want to, but you don't have to, right? You can just press Save. And this image that uh, downloads, that was that is what you're going to submit into Schoology, right? And then you're done.